Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we have Lico973, K closest point to origin. So this question is really popular and is really uh, having a lot of light right now. So the problem is we have a 2D mapping right here, 2D maps. X is right here, Y is right here. And the problem will input uh, arrays of points. So the point, you know, uh, this is one point, this is another point. So in here, the first point is one, three. So in the map, one is right here, three is right here. So the first point is here. And second point, we'll have it on the map in here. So the distance to the origin. So origin is zero and zero in the map. So in here, this is origin. And this is one and three right here. And as the map going right here to calculate this distance right here to the origin is three square plus one square. And the root of this sum is the length of this uh, distance right here. And in here the same, so we have negative two Negative two's absolute number of that one is two. And we also have another two, it's the height. Two square plus two square square root will be the distance of this one. And uh, um, the output of that one is here is smaller than this one, which means this point will be closer to the origin. So we put this number, for example, this is number two, this is number one, and we'll list this in this order. And then we output K of them. So this is K and then we output this in the array. If the K is two here, and we will have two number in this array, output array. So first we, we have to know how to sort this in order by ascending order like this. So small in the beginning, uh, big in the, the last. So now we are gonna use uh, uh, priority queue. So first, um, as we know, the answer is guaranteed. Um, so to be a unique number, then first we have to have K of them. So the in output, it will be new int K of them. And every uh, point, we have two digit integer in there. They have two. Second, we put a priority queue. Inside we'll have I mean, array of int, integer. Um, it, we call priority queue, the new priority queue. Uh, we here customize our um, order, sorry. We customize our order by having this high order function. So we compare A and B. It's basically a comparison that customize comparison that we want to have. So now A is a point, B is also a point. If we want to have the array in ascending order, then we will have A, B uh, in this queue, right? A minus B. But in here, the A result will be A zero times A zero plus A one times A one. In here, A is 
how we calculate, uh, basically we don't need to care about the square root right here. We only care about it, the thing inside. If the thing uh, inside is smaller than the other one, that means the whole number is smaller. So now A0011 right here is the calculation of the inside value. Then we calculate that if this number minus, so I make a parenthesis right here, it's easier to understand. So um, this, this is the value of uh, A inside. So we'll also do the B zero time B zero, sorry, oh. Uh, plus b1 time b1. Um, this is b value without the square root. So now if we put in the point in the priority queue, it will sort it in uh, ascending order like this because of this function that we put in. Now we have the priority queue done at the ending part. So next part we'll have all the points, uh, which is uh, integer array called points in points. And we have it in pq.add point inside. I make it one line, uh, actually you can write it like this. But um, yeah, I just uh, try to make it shorter. Uh, so now we have everything inside in this order, ascending order. And now the question is asking, we have to output K of them into the output array that we prepare. Then like what we do while K is bigger than zero. Then we um, sort of have a counter. Then we have output count equal to pq dot pull, and then put it out from the queue. That should be it. So now we after this one counter should increment by one and K will decrement by one. So in here, we can put it uh, even shorter by put counter plus plus in here and K minus minus in here. So it will solve the problem. Now we have the output built up. And last thing, if we turn output as a result, so that is how to solve this problem. Let's move back to here. And I would like to say the implementation of this problem will be, uh, let me erase this all. Now you can imagine, so if you go to the YAP, and you see the map right here as a map and zip code one, two, three, four. So in this map, we have zip code one, two, three, four, and you are located right here. So I would like to search in zip code one, two, three, four, uh, where's the Madonna located? So now we have all of the Madonna find it in this location and we put this in the array. Madonna one, two, three, four, in different location as a point. So this is points. And then we want to sort it as how distant, how's the distance to this, your location right here. So every time you see the sort, when you go to YEP, I think it's implementing in this uh, algorithm right here. Now, after this algorithm, you will sort them location. Uh, it's the closest uh, 
or uh, to the origin to your location. And that's just this for this question. And if you have any question, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.